Hello and welcome back everyone to Shadow of Mordor Part th uh, 32, and in this episode, we are continuing on with yet another uh, fucking dagger mission. We're shaking that the thing. Of the shadow. We're gonna get that thing. That thing over there. Yeah, you got that thing. Yeah, let me see that skirt now. Yeah. Nah, Dina Howard is a better so is a better solo <laughs> artist. <laughs> Don't hit Mr. Green, hit Mr. Red. Shoot him there and he'll be dead. In the flesh. Expecting someone else. They've been strung up for serving rotten meat. Come with me, my possessed minions. Actually, no. I let my possessed minions just roam freely. <laughs> Mostly because I don't really need to use them for anything. I, from a, from both a video game and a thematic perspective, I find it screamingly funny that you can just brand these guys and they'll just start wandering around of their own volition. Like, yep. Like, what do they even do? <laughs> from, uh, from being branded, they actually go and attempt to uh, live a mostly normal life. <laughs> you know. Because branding them doesn't act, uh, branding them doesn't actively change who they are. It just pretty much gives us a control code to uh, over overwrite their uh, personality and will uh, for ours. I says, would you kindly go stab the war chief in the face? Pretty much. I mean, you know, less New Jersey and more and more uh, <laughs> New Jersey. and more Middle Earth, but all right. This mission fucking blows, very specifically because not only do we have to avoid detection, but um, uh, there are there are total, there are very it, it gets very difficult to figure out who you're supposed to kill. I know that the uh, I know that the map markers are very helpful for this, but the map markers are actually the areas with which you are with which you're supposed to get to. Right. You get to those areas before you start killing them, or else you'll glitch it out. No, past Gerdet, stop, stop. You're, no. So this, so the, you're you're breaking the game sequence already. You're not because you, you didn't activate the event. Yeah. God damn it. Let's. All right. The, the, let's let's look at the let's look at that top objective. Avoid detection. Check. Eliminate Auric torchbearers near each ghoul nest. Check. It doesn't tell you first to go there, so I I say that is bullshit. I'm also using a, a track slash distract in order to get uh, in order to get the bonus objective done now. Okay, we actually we actually got lucky and it didn't bug out for us this time. Yeah, I was going to say that. What if we entered a state where we didn't activate the event, so then we kill everybody, and then we do activate and then we do activate the event and it says, okay, go kill everybody, but there's nobody left to kill, so you can't get points. That happened. God. Darn it! I don't think it happens during this uh, during this particular run, but that did happen during my practice run, and um, yeah, that was. Ugh. I mean, at least you can reset and then just start from where the mission launches you. But yeah, but still, that's it's just not necessary. So uncool. All right, and now. Getting all the torchbearers in this area is a bitch because they're all underneath the they're all underneath the buildings. Oh, thank God for elf sight. We can actually see where the enemies are without map markers. Yeah, but they're still underneath the fucking buildings. How the hell do I get to them? We burrow. Also, hell, Captain. Kuga Luka. Kuga Luka Luka Luka. Kuga Luka Luka Luka. I can't stop this killing. Here I'm trying to I'm trying to do a stealth finisher on him just uh, to uh, to um to successfully uh, brand him. Wait, but you can't you we I can't get to him from here, but so you're trying to one shot this guy? Yep. But and got it. Oh, but I failed the mission because somebody saw me. Oi, there, what's that in the corner of my eye? It must be a threat. Sound the alarm. My suspicions well, have no. got the best of me. You see, who saw me? It was it was Sawbones. Because Sawbones saw me uh, after I dominated him, I failed the mission. But that's... But he didn't... 
But he didn't raise the alarm. He just stood there. I know, right? Lame. So instead, we're gonna go do Fatal Secrets, which is uh, which is another one of the uh, uh, another one of the uh, missions that I fuck that I fucking hate because this one is a very lengthy mission. So, that reminded me of an improvement they made between Skyrim and Oblivion. In Oblivion, if you get caught by... If, let's, let's say you get caught murdering somebody. You get, you get a thousand gold to your bounty. Okay, so, if somebody catches... Actually, if, if the victim catches you trying to kill them, then you get a bounty. If you kill the victim you still have the bounty even if they were only even if they were the only witness and a lot of times i encountered that in oblivion i thought well that's bullshit how does anybody know i did this if all the witnesses are dead well <laughs> in skyrim they actually have a no witnesses remaining system so if you get caught doing something unscrupulous as long as you eliminate anybody who saw you do it it erases your bounty yeah but don't kill the shopkeeper but don't kill the shopkeepers because the shopkeepers are one, you know, pretty much infinite, uh, infinite sources of uh, money for you, and also they're higher level than you are. <laughs> higher level shopkeepers. They are. I mean, if you remember, uh, I'm not sure if you've actually played Morrowind at all. I, I did not play Morrowind. Morrowind no. If you attempt to steal anything from the shopkeepers, they'll just start throwing fireballs at you, Sweet. and it's like I'm level two. How? This not fair. Put that back, you worthless little fetcher. <laughs> All right, I have lethal shadow strike, so uh, so what I can do is a, is attempt to get this uh, is attempt to get this done right here. But I'm but I'm not going to do it to him. I'll do it to this guy though. Yeah, because the guy on the ladder is a he's 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 busy ladder climbing. He's not going to notice a thing. Yeah. He even, he even walks away from the ladder. <laughs> Wait. I smell something. Mm. Honestly, during stealth missions, you sh you probably should not be attending to brand because it not uh, because branding because branding honestly can break stealth very very quickly. Yeah, because then your branded guys basically blow your cover for you. Like that one guy who is supposed to be in on your little lie your web of lies and then the first thing he does is let slip something he shouldn't have said mm. all right martin are you all right you're drooling and eyes are glowing that glowing eyes is a thing that pretty much all of the, all of the magical races in uh in metal earth have it's a skin condition now, would glowing eyes be classified as a skin condition? Well, your eyes are... It's too cold. It's too wet. Are, are, are it's eyes too an dark. organ? Is that is that the proper term for it? Are they eyes an organ? I I classify eyes as an organ. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong there. But they are but they are the very least... They are the very least uh, uh, sensitive uh, to stimuli, so... Yeah, because... Cause... Because if I re if I recall my my literature correctly, skin also is an organ, and skin has sensory perception properties. Yes. Or rather, that sen sensation occurs in the skin; perception occurs in the brain. Right. Mm. Thanks to the thanks to the connected network of uh, of sensory receptors. These bodies are amazing. And dead. Follow the messenger and eliminate the worms. Yes, the wo oh shit. You know, like that one. I think your branded guy is running after those guys. He is. Um, <laughs> he fucking he, is. <laughs> he is, but it, it's fine. Here we got shoulder charge. Shoulder charge is honestly a really good ability. It's one that I don't actually use all that often though. While while running at full speed, you can use your shoulder in order, in order to knock down um, a knock down enemies. And from and from there, uh, do, do ground executes. It's honestly a really good thing to have, but it's not something that I ever actually end up using all that often. What you mean, tackle, knock off kilter, and then kill? Yeah. Yeah, because you might as well just do that. Just just kill them. Why knock? Take out the middleman, and then watch the body fall over the edge. Well, that guy's playing al playing along with his non-possessed buddies pretty nicely. Yep. He's a good slave. Did you hear that? Mm. Whatever he wants, he doesn't dare. 
Ah, uh, commiserators. And quickly, quickly, quickly. All right, now bail. Yes, it worked. Oh, Ooh. son of a yeah. bitch. You have no idea how many times I failed that mission right there. I can guess. Many. <laughs> uh, it wasn't during this playthrough, but again, during my test playthrough, Fatal Secrets is one of the ones that... Uh, Fatal Secrets and Scourging of the Shadow are missions that I do not look forward to. But with that, we have successfully forged all three of our... All, we have successfully forged half of the legends of all three of our... of all three of our weapons, which is great. Mostly because of all, all the Mirren uh, that we end up getting for it. Allowing us to finally max out our focus. Yay! Sweet. So, we need to do one more outcast mission, two more survival challenges, and one more hunting challenge. Wait. The hunting challenge that we have currently is for ghouls, which... Oh, look! Ghouls! There's a ghoul. Going back to ghoul school. <laughs> Another ghoul. Another ghoul. There. Ghouls and fools. But I thought you said you had invincibility frames while branding people. Well, well, you have invincibility frames during a stealth brand. Not when you're, not when you're actually doing the, uh, the uh, long, the long uh, drain version. Ah, uh, okay. So you can't, you can't just do like a circle of death thing where you use the invincibility frames. The enemies use their attack animations. They all miss. They're all about to attack again. You, you use the time in between to. Get more iframes, hit that guy, everybody misses again. And then you get more iframes, everybody misses. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, you cannot do that. Shoot him in the butt. Shoot him in the butt, dogs. Shoot him in the rear. Shoot him in the butt, dogs. Ouch. Ow. There, we killed the character. Down, boy. All right, so I'm not entirely sure what survival challenge that we're on at the moment, but I don't think it's for this. Uh, it's for this plant. Ah. No, it was not for Alfirin. Okay. We will have to send this as a. We will have to get get a vase of water and bring this to Marwyn. I'm, I'm sure she will find it quite pleasant. Uh, no, we actually eat. We actually eat the herbs. And to close out this part, we will be attempting a brand new the elder. Hey, now that's not true. Learning is a lifelong procedure. He is damaged by combat finishers and explosions. He has flaming sword of madness. What the hell? Uh, fire sword honestly is just a little bit of extra damage. It's not honest. It's not honestly all that uh, uh, something you really need to worry about. Oh, I'm sure. He's... Honestly, poison sword. Uh, poison sword is way worse because of how it disables your uh, counter attacks. Oh yeah, definitely. And intel. And I'm sure. And there. I'm we, sure. We have intel on every single one of the orcs that are here. Yay. That... And we have dominated Booth too. So. These Oryx have, they all have something to tell us. They say, watch out for late game poison. It will make you cry. <laughs> click and click. There, more ghouls. Hunting. Two. Six. Three. Seven. All right, that should be the end of the hunting challenge. Last hope. Waiting. Ah! Hello, Karakors. What the fuck? Where did you come from? Where did they come from? <laughs> they just kind of just spawned in behind us and decided to chase after us. Man, my cat can't even jump that high. How did these guys get up there? <laughs> uh, Karagors are effectively lions, so yeah, they they are. Well, honestly, I would I would classify Karagor as more as more of a jaguar than a lion per se. Yeah, yeah, or or panther. And so we have dominated this character. For what, for what it's worth, we did it. Quick time event. Success. Yay. We did it. Bail out on him, and then in the next part, we'll be doing the last hope. It is a message. As in these out hope. this outcast survival mission.